Hey guys, really good to see you. And what have I got for you today? Well, a very, very unusual story about how Paul Gilbert was rejected from Ozzy Osbourne's band. Absolutely unbelievable. That's coming right up. Okay, yeah, so the story comes from ultimateguitar.com and it is a little bit of a red herring because it was about when Paul was 15 years of age. It says, Paul Gilbert recalls Ozzy audition rejection when he was 15 years old and how it affected him. Now, I think this is really, really interesting. He also discusses the unusual way he learned how to play. So, during conversation, it says here with Carly, Kylie Olsen, Paul Gilbert looked back on writing a letter to Ozzy Osbourne at the age of 15 about joining his band. Paul was 15 year old back in 1981. Actually, yeah, he's obviously just a little bit older than me because I was only 10 in 1981. Gilbert is promoting a new record titled Werewolves of Portland and if you haven't heard it yet I strongly recommend that you check out Werewolves of Portland because it is a great great track or a great album. Um, when the interviewer said apparently when you were around 15 you wrote to Shrapnel founder Mike Varney and said that you wanted to join Ozzy's band. Could he help? And the musician replied, yeah, pretty much. I lived in rural Pennsylvania at the time, and this is, of course, way before the internet, where you can just send an email to anybody. Randy Rhodes, I've been a huge fan of his. I saw him a couple of times in concert, which was amazing, and I learned a lot of those parts. And I was, for a 15-year-old kid, pretty well versed in that style. I can imagine that Paul Gilbert was probably an amazing guitarist by the time he was 15. Ace, he goes on to say, at the same time, I knew that the chances of me joining Ozzy's band were very low. I didn't have great expectations, but at the time I thought, if you don't try, somebody's going to join. I think I could play the parts. At least I have to try, because if I don't try, it's always going to bug me. And I always think about the opportunity lost. And I think that's a really, really PMA, positive mental attitude, because... I think that if you want to go for something, just go for it. And I think, oh, kudos to Paul. So he goes on to say, uh, so I thought, well, how am I going to try? I don't know anybody. I'm in this small town. Uh, I don't know anybody in the music business. I don't know Ozzy's phone number. So I had some guitar magazines and Mike Varney had an article that listed his address. And he said that he'd reply to anybody who sent him a cassette of their playing. So I sent him a cassette. I think I played a Montrose song like Rock Candy and played it pretty well. He called me back. I don't think I mentioned how old I was in my letter, so he was interested. He's like, hey, you sound pretty good. Tell me about yourself. That was still the beginning of the hair 80s. Everybody had to have hair. Do you have long hair? I was like, yeah, yeah, I've got long hair. I've got a perm. I look like a guy from De Def Leppard. And he's like, cool. So do you have good equipment? Yeah, I've got a Marshall stack. Finally, he said, well, how old are you? I'm 15. He's like, ah, Ozzy doesn't want a 15 year old in the band. But bless his cotton socks. How funny to have actually got to Mike Varney at the age of just 15. Amazing. And it just goes to show what an incredible kind of guy and approach Paul Gilbert has. Anyway, he goes on, he says, but it gave me the real, really the beginning of my career because Mike really liked my playing. And so he just said, keep sending stuff. And by the time I went out to LA to go to GIT, I've made enough original material where Mike actually wanted to do records with me. And that became Racer X. So there you go, folks. It just goes to show you that if you really try for something in life, and you just go for it, oftentimes it can work out. Now, Paul Gilbert is an incredible guitarist. I love his work in Mr. Big. I love his new solo album, which you should check out if you can. And um, I love his attitude. I think that kind of attitude, that can-do approach is something that we can all learn from. 
that's all I have for you today. A nice short one, and I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, this little commentary on Paul Gilbert trying to join Ozzy Osbourne's band. I'll be back with a live show on Friday and on Sunday. And in the meantime, as always, my friends, you take good care.